It says in John 8, 36, If the Son makes you free, you will be free indeed. Free from what? Well, that's free from the things that have uh, bogged you down in the past. The things that have kept you blocked. The things that have kept you from... uh, going ahead and doing what you really want to do, and yet often feel in your mind that you can't. Well, what changes that? Prayer changes that. There is a power in prayer. Prayer fortifies you with a tremendous faith. Prayer enables you to behold the Christ in every person. Now today, are you concerned about a dear one? This dear one seems to be powerless to help themselves, and uh, they seem to be in bondage to undesirable habits. Well, what do you do? The best thing to do is to pray for these dear ones, for their realization that they also have freedom and light, and overcoming power through the Christ Spirit that is with them. The Christ Spirit is their strength and their freedom. You know, for those that are in bondage in your own family, in your own life, in friendships that you have, we pray for them. You are strong in the Christ Through the Christ within you, you are wise, you're free, and you are capable. Through the Christ, you are brought out of your darkness into the light of God, out of bondage into the freedom of God. Through Christ, you can be all that you long to be. You are set free through God's power from anything and everything that would limit or bind you. You are free. The assurance of your own freedom is through the power of God. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray that for others and for ourselves. Amen.